Hello everybody, today we're talking about the Celestron Star Sense Explorer DX and today this telescope is a beginner's telescope and I bought this telescope almost two years ago. In six days I bought this telescope. In six days from now it's been two years since I bought this telescope and the amazing thing is this telescope is a little bit like a computer game but with stargazing. It's good for beginners and who want to get started in astrophotography. This is a nice, simple way to get into it. And yes, let's start. So guys, right now, before you buy this Electron Star Sense Explorer, you get you need to download this app called Star Sense. And this and this holder here comes with the telescope, so you can put your phone to it and download this app. So this app looks like this. And if you press this. You can pick different targets in the night sky. So you could pick Jupiter or Andromeda or Global Cluster. And you can pick way more. These are all the options. You know, you've got you've got easy targets like tonight's best objects. Like Jupiter, the Andromeda Galaxy, stuff like that. Or you've got tonight's challenging objects. Like Neptune and Dumbbell Nebula. And also what you might notice is the city viewable so you might see so some places would say city viewable and then other locations you'll see is dark sky so dark sky locations means you can't see it so now i'm just going to show you something else so right now guys we're going to pick a deep uh, pick a target in the sky to pick like we're going to pick the andromeda and in the thing is when you press the andromeda galaxy you need to press this locate or you could listen to a little audio. M31 is a great Andromeda galaxy. You can pause it as well if you're not that bothered. But it's a really cool thing, you know what I mean? So if you want to learn about this stuff before you look, it's like a museum at your house as well as like a computer. So it's really cool. So now press locate. So now the Andromeda galaxy, I have to move. So, yep. So now, if you want to find the Andromeda Galaxy, use these. So that button makes it go across, up and down. And then you can use that to go across. And also, you can use that as the red dot finder. So the red dot finder, you find at most telescopes, and you find the, and then there's a little red dot, which is interesting as well. So let's find the Andromeda. So when you're finding the Andromeda, you see this like yellow thing, red thing here. And if it's red, it means it's far out. And when it's green, it means it's close. And you use those buttons just to move it across like this. Move, 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 move. So it's red right now, so it means we're nothing near. So we need to go across. We're going to find the Andromeda Galaxy. So it's nice and high, which is basically quite cool. We can zoom it in as well. So we're just going to move it across like this. And it just takes a minute to process as well. So even if you're on it, it might say red. But then it's just finding its position. And look, now it goes yellow. So it's pretty cool, actually. And look, and then look on green. So now, if you look into the eyepiece, which actually is a little bit, you can actually see it, which is fairly cool. So now... Now we've actually, uh, now we've actually viewed the Andromeda, and, I, and I've asked, and I've invited my dad to take a look. What did you think of the view, Dad? Was it good? Was it good, Dad? Yes or no? Really good. Really good. Yeah. So that's how you use it. So that's the Andromeda Galaxy, and you know you can feel free because it's not just the Andromeda. You know, look at all these targets you can choose from. Oh, and it is it's. It's expensive, but it isn't, you know, it isn't impossible to buy. And, you know, you can pick star clusters, you can pick galaxies, nebulas. And also, all these things it's recommending are in our night sky. So, in the seasons, like like maybe in winter, you might get different targets to in summer. You know what I mean? And different planets. So, you've got, like, so Jupiter's, it's, like, best planetary. Anyway, so, now I'm going to finish the video from there. And I tell you something great. I will be showing the pictures I've taken with this telescope soon. Anyways, goodbye.